Hi. Welcome to Cat's Garden. <laughs> All right, guys, first and foremost, I did not, I totally forgot that my dryer is, I forgot that I'm, I'm drying clothes at the moment. More than likely, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover, which I need to do anyways. My good friend that I met on Facebook Marketplace, she gave me some, um, I don't even know what these called. Uh, oh my God, some trellis, trellis thing my jigs. Well, she gave me some of these, okay? She gave me some of these. She gave me a little, like this one, the small grid ones that you can see here, and then she gave me a she gave me an extra large one. So I got I have plenty thanks to her, and I am so thank like I'm so thankful. Like I freaking love that lady, and she knows it. So what I did, I went in my backyard and I cut down. Well, my son, my oldest son, cut down some bamboo um, stalks for me. So I'm going to use this. This is actually pretty freaking big. First, let me just make the moss pole. Now, I've never made one before. This is going to be my very first time. And the reason why I'm making it is simply because, look at her, look at her. What is this? What is this? What is that? Like I literally, <laughs> wow, she is humongous. Ooh, child. So I, so what I did, I had my kids go outside and gather some sticks and I just, place the sticks inside of the inside of the pot and then, and then just grab some bread ties so I, I grab the bread ties or whatever and I just tied it against the sticks that my kids have found for me outside so what I'm gonna do is take her out of the pot put the moss pole in there and yeah again this is my first attempt of making a moss pole so wish me. Alrighty, spec the mods from Home Depot for five dollars. A Dollar Tree for some zip ties, and of course the Velcro tape from Home Depot as well. I think it's three dollars, and the bamboo stock. Now, this of course was a gift for me. The I think the what is it called? Trellis? I don't even know what it's called. But anyway, I'm measuring my bamboo stock there against my pot, so I know how deep it's going to be. I actually lucked up, guys, because the trellis or whatever this thing is called. It's the perfect fit for my bamboo stock. How crazy is that? Now I'm going to roll up the trellis or fence. What What is this thing called, guys? Please comment down below what this thing is called. But I'm just going to call it trellis for now. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Sorry if I'm using the wrong word. But oh well. Anyway, so I'm going to use the plastic fence there and just measure it. I'm literally wrapping around how small or large I want it. Now, I'm taking the sphagnum moss out of the bag here. Again, I got it from Home Depot. It was like $5 and some change or not even, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to take like a handful of it, like a, well, quite a few handfuls of it. Um, I did not, I didn't know how much I was going to need. I'm like literally praying that this would be enough or whatever because i know when you wet it it probably will expand or whatever so i don't know i'm just eyeballing it then i'm going to take my um water inside of my water i placed a little bit of fertilizer in there don't ask just 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 watch me do what i'm trying to do i'm going to mix it up and soak this sphagnum moss in my fertilized water there and hopefully it will expand and hopefully if I break up some pieces it will be enough now I actually marked where I want or how big I would like my uh, pole my moss pole to be so now I'm just taking some scissors that I had laying around and I'm going to cut along the lines of my marking and I'm using the um, I'm actually cutting along the lines of the uh, trellis or fence there it's kind of hard for me to explain. Now I'm going to grab my bamboo stick or stock or whatever and I'm going to align my markings that I have on the fence there and along with my bamboo stick and just align it together. Now that I align it together, now I'm going to add my sphagnum moss. It stinks because my liquid fertilizer, it stinks. So everything is stinking right now. I should have used gloves, but oh well. When you when you're about this plant life, child, you just roll your sleeves up and go at it. So 
now i am going to grab as much sphagnum moss as i can and just fill up of the long of the lines of my um bamboo pole or stock or stick or whatever you want to call it Alrighty guys, now it's time to lock the uh, trellis together, the fence together. What is this thing called, guys? Alright, anyway, so you're going to grab your, uh, you're going to open the zip ties. And then once you open the zip ties, just have some laying around so it's easy to grab. But most, impo most importantly, you're going to fold the uh, trellis fence or the plastic fence there to, uh, on top of each other just make sure they're aligned together and then simply place the zip tie um, in between the loops there and then lock it together if that make any type of sense I hope I'm explaining this right I'm, I'm sorry this is why I'm not a teacher because I cannot explain this so I was hoping that my camera my camera angle was pretty good but it is not sorry and if you actually flip over your sphagnum moss pole um, you will see that the bamboo stock or stick is hanging out at the bottom there But don't worry. We're gonna fix that later on in the video. So just basically interlock the um, interlock the uh, zip tie um, along the lines of the overlapping um, Fence thing there and it should work out fine I hope I am explaining this right guys or if you can just see it sorry I am so sorry but it should come out looking something like this this is what you should have so there it is I'm going to cut the extra length off but no worries so anyway as I cut the um, extra length off now what I'm going to do is just of course take off the um, what is it called the bread ties the yarn whatever I had um holding <laughs> holding my plant against the sticks i am just going to take them loose so i'm just basically getting her prepared to come out of the pot there and get ready get her ready for her new um moss pole so i'm trying my best to be very gentle with her because not too long ago i actually repot her in this terracotta pot the 10 inch terracotta pot so right now i'm just trying my best to be super super you know gentle with her and also at this moment what i'm doing i'm just emptying out the rest of the soil there so booyah here we go so now the pot is empty i'm actually going to call for some help but i'm going to hold the pole in the center piece of the pot there and then i'm going to add the rest of the soil at the bottom there so it can actually like try to you know stay but it didn't work so i grabbed one of my kids and they're helpful now her roots her roots are doing pretty good um unfortunately i did not just want to have her sitting on one side of the pot so what i'm doing i'm just going to separate like loosen up her roots a little bit and like dust off some of the soil or whatever and then spread that around this um the um, moss pole there so basically she's just being wrapped around the moss pole if that make any type of sense and the reason why i'm doing this guys is because she's going to be in this pot for a very long time oh see there you have it so basically what i did is just basically you know just yeah just try my best to wrap her around so Next, you're going to grab your Velcro um, tape, garden tape there. Again, I purchased mine from Home Depot. Hey, Home Depot. So what I'm going to do now is try my best to measure the um, tape around the pole. And then once I believe I have enough tape that I can wrap around the plant and the pole, I am going to cut off what I think is enough, which should be enough. Um, I didn't want to have her like smushed against the sphagnum moss pole i want to leave a little bit of room there for her you know i mean she's been through enough as it is so nonetheless i'm going to grab as much of the branch that i can like well i'm going to grab as much as i can and just tape her up against the um the moss pole there and to be honest with you guys i am like praying and hoping inside of my head that this works because oh child but I'm gonna show you one snippet. There it is, it works. So honestly, I did not know Homegirl was growing this long and had and was trailing as much as she as she is. Like she like this you guys will see. Just just keep watching because yeah, it's it's a lot. Other planters make it look so easy, guys, but it is not. Like I literally I had my work. 
I had my work cut out for me. <laughs> I really did, guys. Oh my god. I actually panicked a little bit, but I cut that part out. Okay, just keep watching. or whatever but now that I have unraveled her and trying to place and wrap her around the moss pole mama is long like she is not only is she full and have massive leaves but her trailing stems here are super super long and I did not know that so yes all right so it's officially summertime I got this off of Amazon I'll put the link down below in my description box but I have organic liquid fish here it is I purchased this off of Amazon. It was a couple of bucks, not that expensive, and it is a quart size, and it was pretty reasonable. This worked wonders. This is my secret. This is basically Fish Emotion. If you just type in the search bar on Amazon, Fish Emotion, this will pop up along with other companies. Basically, I just grab my water can, place some water in there, add the Fish Emotion, mix it up, and I'm gonna water her. I'm not going to water the moss pole because I have already wet that up when I'm creating the moss pole. What I'm going to do is just water the bottom here. Oh, ew! I'm wasting it everywhere and it stinks. One thing I can tell you guys is this fishy motion stinks. Like it smells like fish poop. It stinks. It just stinks. I'm basically watering the soil down here so the soil can actually set as well and what that means is the water will pretty much hold all the soil compact together so that way it can stick around the moss pole here and everything is solidified if that make any type of sense i hope i'm explaining that right if i'm not child y'all know what i'm talking about if you made it this far in the video guys please do not forget to like and subscribe and share let's see that I have my crystals around it, my statues and everything. And then there she is in the window. That's a large moss pole. I outdid myself. I'm very, very happy right now. So beforehand, when she was a little bit smaller, I had her um, in the window seal, like I have all my other plants. And they tend to like it. At first I thought maybe it was just too much direct like for them, but y'all know, they love it. So she just gotten so big that I had to place her in a 10 inch pot and then grab a moss pole. I'm super happy guys, like she is thriving. She's looking good. That's my moss pole. Sorry about my lighting or whatever, but yeah, here she is. So I will keep you guys posted with her. Hopefully she will, you know, not like, hopefully she won't be in too much of a shock. 
or whatever. But let's keep our fingers crossed. And here she is. Yes. All right. Thank you all for watching.